Hello everybody, it's Barbara. And tonight's set is a set that is 20 years in the making. Uh, the first class, as I am, as I like to think of us, of the Integrity Toys collectors have been waiting a very long time for Integrity Toys to return to making luggage. And they never really did in the same way that they did originally with the Holt Lux line and the Fashionable Journeys line. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we do finally get that return. This is genuine Integrity Toys luggage. It is a limited edition. It was created by David Boutry, sort of for Poppy, but really for all of them. And to start off, just to show you the packaging, which I believe was also created by Alain Tremblay, this is the nicest packaging ever for the luggage. It looks itself like luggage, except that you don't have a handle at the top. But you do have that beautiful detailing of the reinforced corners and the straps. This, when we've previously gotten luggage from them, the luggage would come in a doll box, but instead of having the doll, they would use the plastic uh, to hold in the luggage. But this this is, so with this set, this is exactly the way a luggage would look like, and this is the luggage itself. It comes in this beautifully lined uh, mid-century floral motif. And the luggage itself, as I said, would be secured with the same kind of plastic straps that you would see for like the original accessories or for boots. Um, you have a sort of like a makeup bag travel case or a purse. You have the train case, you have the hat case, and you have two pieces of luggage. So let's go ahead now and let's take out the luggage. And I will talk about each piece, and I will also tell you uh, what you can and cannot expect to have in there, what, in terms of clothing. So let's start first with um, the hat case or the train case. Uh, these are all going to say Genuine Integrity Toys. This will close with the old school, if you remember from the original luggage set, the old school latch. And it opens and it has the same lining as the box itself and you have a little bit of a pouch here. I would say that would be a pouch for something like earrings. And we're about to find that out. So I'm going to use or use integrity toys ring as you can see here and that ring will fit very nicely into the pouch so that's really for like earrings and rings and then obviously in there you could put I would think at least one maybe two and I'll see about two in a second but I think you could put one or two pairs of shoes. You actually, you could not do like the huge pairs of shoes, or you certainly could not do boots. But two pairs of shoes, Two pairs of shoes, maybe a scarf. This would actually be pretty good for like scarves too, or the purses, the smaller purses, the handbags. That's what that would be good for. Okay. So I would say probably like two or three scarves or the lingerie, two or three pairs of lingerie, things like that. This would probably be very good for if you remember the journal that came with new face or a couple of pairs of stockings you could put maybe the passport or the credit cards in there from back in the day 
or phone in there. This is this is the what I think is the makeup case. Yes. If it was a traditional makeup case, you'd probably have the mirror on top. But again, this would be a place for oh, you could put a whole bunch of makeup in there or you know, maybe one pair of shoes or some more jewelry, something like that. The very smaller items you could do. Now, let's get to the luggage. The first luggage is is meant to be like the wheeling kind. You obviously have the extendable pole in the back, which disappears very nicely or relatively nicely in the back. You have the gold wheels. And this is going to close with straps that mercifully do not have the holes, if you know what I mean. So this is just a strap. It's not a hole. And if you open it, you have this detailing here of what you, you should be able to extend it out and close it out, but that's just a detailing. It's not real. Here you would put, like, the stockings. And I'm not sure how much clothing you can fit in there. Let's give it a shot. For the purposes of this review, I grabbed a bodysuit, which I will fold and put in there, and or I could, and you could do the bodysuit and the scarf. This is not IT, by the way. This is La Boutique, and you could do that, or to show you again, this is a nice little dress sheath from La Boutique. I'm going to fold in thirds. And that would be about the only thing that could go in there. But you could also, I think, tuck the scarf, which I will now try to do. You could tuck the oops. You could tuck the scarf in there, and again the dress, and that's about it. The larger suitcase does not have the pulley or wheels; it just has the straps. And again, you have a pouch. A little more depth. Uh, let's see. What can we do with this one? So in this case, I have, I'll show it to you lengthwise. It's a one-piece navy blue suit. And I will return the bodysuit in there. I will lay the jacket on top, and I think the jacket would be about it. Yes. So there you go. So you can do, with the two suitcases, you can do like one small outfit. I mean, obviously, you cannot do a gown in here. Or you cannot do, um, I'm not sure men's-wise what you could do with these. I should have grabbed a... A mitt. Let's see. You know what? Let me grab, because I do have one, and I promise I will properly review this male ensemble at a later date. 
but let's see male clothing wise what you can so, do. So full disclosure, this is going to be um, the Navy or sailor themed uh, K, K and R and D original that just came out. These are the linen trousers. And these were meant to fit home, not the uh, not the Maisie Adonis. So that those trousers go in very nicely. You have this very nice nautical themed shirt. This is both of these pieces are going in the larger luggage. It does come with a couple of pieces of jewelry, which you could easily stash. In here and if you had a guy um, I don't think the remand bar let me get the remand barber set and see if that's gonna work so let's say the gentleman was going to use this case what could he put in there well he could put in some of his hair tonics this by the way is from the remand barber set he could put in a straight razor or an electric razor and you could put in a hairbrush and still have plenty of room to spare in this one now how would that work in what I think would probably be more realistically a guy's case what, what could he put in there well, again, uh, you could do, let's do it this way. Again, here goes the hair tonic. It's a much snugger fit, so maybe this is the better idea anyway. The hair tonic, the hair brush. I don't have a toothbrush that I can just grab, but I do have the razors. So this could make for a nice little dop kit bag for the guys so all in all that is what you can do uh with these this is what you can do with these uh miniatures and figures and the luggage put together in the one and six scale uh using what is readily available to us and speaking of readily available, let me bring myself back into the camera. And I will show you very quickly how it would look if I'm holding these things. So here we go. And this actually just, so that's to travel on. That word, that you can hold that obviously very well. In her hand, I guess you would turn the hand like this. Probably would want some ticky tap too, ticky tape. But yeah, that's going to be sizable. But you could probably still put that on an airplane. This is how it would look in her hand, and then actually, I, I've got it staying. As for the luggage, if she were to drag it, it's actually not quite, and this is, this is the industry body, so it's not quite going to reach her hand, the lower one, so that's kind of a surprise. It's not quite going to reach her lower hand, but that's how it would look. And if I would assume the one she would, you would expect she would carry. Would be the bigger of the two anyway. And that's how that would look. So folks, I mean, this isn't even a question of, do you get this? This is something that all of us who have, again, the OG collectors, we've been waiting for this for literally 20 years. And I know I've been begging for it for 20 years. So you, uh, you, you, you can get your hands on this. 
at a reasonable price you absolutely 100 percent get this and what's very nice about this is this will match very nicely in style the white luggage that came several years ago well not several but two or three years ago from the barbie convention which had the lv or imitation lv motif lining in the inside so you will want so for once mattel and integrity are shadow working together which is kind of strange and kind of cool at the same time so for my mini me and for me barbara and for integrity toys for this glorious set, which I hope you can find as soon as you can find it, I will see you in my next Miniature Monday review, which will return us to Rement. Everybody take care, and I hope you are enjoying your Julys. Bye-bye.